Alex, so you're looking to put your home on the market. What sort of changeover costs do you think you'd be expecting? There's three main elements, Nathan, in the changeover costs. There's stamp duty on your purchase, not when you're selling, and there's commission, and then there's the advertising cost. So stamp duty around four to five percent. So if you're buying a million dollar property, then you're paying about 50,000 in stamp duty. And advertising for a million dollar property, the best campaigns that we've seen spend between half a percent and one percent of the value of the property. And then with commission, the best agents in Adelaide, depending on the value, but around that million dollar mark, would charge between 1.8 and 2.5% of the purchase price. So when you tally all that up, you're probably looking at a changeover cost of around about 75 to 80,000 to sell your property in that million dollar price range. Yep, and in terms of the commission, looking at an incentive scale, do you think that's worth looking into? And in terms of the marketing, is it worth being a little bit cautious and spending a little bit less or being a little bit more aggressive in your marketing? Yep, well firstly the commission. Um, I'd be a little bit wary with providing too much of an incentive structure because you want the agent to have a cool head and not be negotiating to try to line their own pockets too heavily if they get over a certain amount because they can then lose focus on the real task, which is getting the best buyer for the best price and not pushing them over the cliff, so to speak, and losing them. So some incentive structure can work, but not over the top. As far as uh, marketing goes, we do see patterns developing. Selling five or 600 homes a year, you do see patterns. It tends to be those properties that do market at around that three quarters of a percent to one percent of the value seem to attract more buyers and the more buyers we get to a home the more competition there is and the more competition the more chance there is of a higher price so personally i would be recommending leaning towards a bigger marketing budget closer to that three quarter of a percent mark however if you're looking for more of a discrete sale we can still get excellent results if you spend on the lower end of that range as well